Building a Sustainable World. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 241. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 241, November 5th, 2017 edition. Today's topic, building a sustainable world, which seems like such an obvious thing. Why would we build any world that isn't sustainable? And yet it appears that that is the direction that we've been moving for quite some time. Of course, the argument could be, well, we're not really building the world. The world just is as it is. But humanity is undeniably the number one largest contributor to how our world is turning out right now. We are the dominant species, and the direction that we're moving right now is, by definition, simply looking at the data and objectively assessing how we're using our resources, it is, by definition, not sustainable. But we as a species have the ability to build a sustainable world if we'd like to become stewards of our environment and do that. And so one community is here to facilitate that process. We're building a sustainable world through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And we define highest good living as an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education, highest good economic models, uh, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. And putting these things together to create a way of living that we think most people consider to be better than the way that's living right now, and open sourcing and free sharing the complete model so that people can adapt it, modify it, change it, or just replicate it, whatever it is that works best for you. Your friends and groups of people, anybody who'd like to take what it is that we're doing and build off of it. And our idea, our belief is that if we create everything with the consciousness for the highest good of all, thinking to the best of our ability in what will serve humanity and the planet and all life on it to the best of our ability, creating that, we believe that if we create an open source and free shared foundation built on those ideas, then in general, we're moving in the right direction. People can take the information, everything that is that we're creating, and modify it, adapt it, and do whatever they want with it. And we think that we'll still be moving in a direction that's more sustainable than the way that we're moving right now. And everything that you see happening in the background of this video is our all-volunteer, nonprofit team's work working towards that goal, a sustainable world for the benefit of everyone. And if you run the numbers on creating something like One Community, which is a teacher demonstration, community, village, and hub, designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. If you run the numbers on a model like this, if we can create it such that it will become self-replicating, and the foundations of that are making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates it's attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. If we can achieve a self-replicating model, then just running the numbers on a group, one group of 50 people that inspires within the first year two additional groups of 50 people to begin the same process. And then the three groups working at that point, if they can inspire four more the next year, and then eight the year after that, 16 the year after that, 32 the year after that, 64 the year after that. If we can begin this process, if you run the numbers on that, you continue that process, in less than 30 years, we can create a sustainable world that truly works for everybody. Simultaneously addressing the greatest challenges of this generation and generations that come, like homelessness, food insecurity, social injustice and equality, uh, the quality of education, all built on an open source, free shared, and highest good for all model designed to improve life for everybody. This is how we're building a sustainable world. And this is our path to inviting anybody who's interested to participate. Everything that we're doing is open source. Everything we're doing is open source and free shared, so that people can take it and do what they want with it. And we're covering all aspects of sustainability and life in general, so that people can take the components that they like, or demonstrate, or replicate and demonstrate the entire model in a version that may be unique to them, or could be a replication of what it is that we're doing. 
because everything is created to be either that complete model or to be replicated as individual components. So if somebody just likes one of our lesson plans from the education program, or they just like to build a guest home or a home for themselves out of earth bag construction or shipping containers or straw bale, or maybe somebody just wants to plant a garden, or maybe somebody just wants to start a nonprofit that has nothing to do with sustainability. Everything that we're doing is open source and free share to help anybody who wants to do anything even remotely related to what it is that we're creating and also to help people replicate exactly what it is that we're doing. Creating teacher demonstration communities, communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well. This is our path to building a sustainable world. So with all that said, let's check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Here it is, we're an all volunteer, 100% unpaid, nonprofit, non-governmental organization. I'm not paid for anything that we're doing and neither are any of our volunteers. We're 100% volunteer organization. And here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of building a sustainable world that will benefit everyone. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week's focus was continuing on the obstacle course. We updated the textures, shadows, changed the size of the monkey bar net, and added a bench with back support to the finished obstacle. We also added one more section to the climbing wall obstacle, landscape items with plants and rocks, planters with flowers to the maze obstacle, a tether ball, and a tire flower bed and hill. In addition, the core team continued working on the Murphy bed instructions, continuing to test different layouts. We also researched Canva and other documentation software and sketched up the layout. You can see this work here. The core team also worked on creating the thermal leg page and its related images. The page now has its basic structure and table of contents added, as well as the images created by Vomsi Puller Gertha. There are also 13 more images that have been edited, cropped, and saved, and will be added to the page next week. And the core team finished editing and updating the content and formatting on the Earth Bay Village tools and equipment page. You can see some of this finished work here. Sungum Stanzak, PhD in PE, continued her work on the open source wet lab that will be used to test and assure the safety of the filtered gray water from the communal eco shower. This week's focus was calculating updated flow rates and drawing out version 2.0 filtration and sterilization details. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 88 of Dean's work, continuing to test and develop the textures and lighting from the skylights and windows for the central dining, presentation hall, and adjacent kitchen areas. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his fifth week working on the compressed earth block village render additions. This week, he finished adding people and additional aesthetics to this final render of the earth block village classroom looking west, which you can now also see on the website. This week, he finished adding people and additional aesthetics to this final render of the earth block village classroom looking west, which you can also now see on the website. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 37th week of work, focusing on the beginnings of the presentation for Zones 2 and 4. Samantha Robinson, graphic designer, completed her 13th week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village Pod 7. This week's focus, as shown here, was more unwrapping and texturing of the stairs component. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. The core team continued updating the website with the new Highest Good Energy rollout details for the landing parties. This week, we updated the what and why sections, imagery for the 10 to 20 person section, and completed the 20 to 50 person rollout details section. You can see examples of this work here. Aisley, structural engineer, 
continued work on the City Center Structural Engineering tutorial. What you see here is the sixth week of writing content. This week's content focus was beginning the snow load details and making additional updates to the AutoCAD file, as seen here. Falguin Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his 10th week volunteering with the team. This week's focus was updating all gas appliances to electric and completing the initial power needs analysis for the city center kitchen. You can see some of this work here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 55th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was updating the second floor zones over the mezzanine level, as shown here. Oruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer, also continued working on the City Center Structural Engineering AutoCAD and SAP 2000 models corrections. This week, she focused on identifying SAP 2000 and AutoCAD discrepancies and potential engineering challenges in the living and social domes. Aravin Vasudovan, mechanical engineer, continued his calculations and research for climate battery component of the City Center Heating and Cooling Open Source Hub. This week's focus was third generation edits to the climate battery cost analysis. You can see here some of the edited and updated pages. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued researching data for nutrition guidelines for our food self-sufficiency transition plan and sustainable food nutrition calculations page and compiled additional data for vegetarian and vegan diets, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education assessment format open source page and tutorial. This week, we finished adding all the details to each of the steps of the assessment process, as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished three rounds of edits and integration into the wind energy design and implementation tutorial. Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Priti Kochari, information technology enthusiast, also continued their work developing the highest good network software. This week's focus was researching the modal relationships and creating a schema for managing the overall application. Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his eighth week volunteering with the team. This week's focus was joining the team working on the climate battery designs and research and double checking the calculation and design details, adding further research, and helping create new imagery. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards building a sustainable world for everyone. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, visit our written blog or visit our website. You'll find links there to everything that I'm talking about and so much more. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, if you'd like to help, the easiest way to help is share our information. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information. If you send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, we will add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like to monitor and, uh, and manage your updates through social media, we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, about 15 other social media networks so that you can access and share our information in whatever platform uh, works best for you. And of course, uh, thank you. We like to say thank you every single time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not possible for us to succeed without people sharing our information, without the following of our information, without getting the information out there. And through that, we are grateful 
for that, we are grateful for everybody who likes our videos, everybody who shares our videos, everybody who sends us information. Of course, thank you to all of our volunteers. Thank you for the donations that we get. 100% of donations go to forwarding our open source goals. None of our team is paid. And so uh, you, if you're donating to us, you know with con you can donate with confidence knowing that that money goes specifically towards continuing to expand our website and everything associated with running a global organization like ours uh, founded on volunteer work and continuously expanding our open source creations and sharing process. So thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the support. Even if you're just somebody who watches and just supports energetically from the from from out there and doesn't interact with us in any way, we still say thank you. It all makes a difference. So until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.